that team, Uncle Jojo, warm chica to a rip roaring episode. Got asked a question by my mate Hunky, Hunky Heath. The difference between dead loads and live loads. When we build a house, we actually have to build it to the engineering specifications. Those specifications are based on a number of things. One being the live load, so people walking through the house, water in our bath areas, um, furniture being moved around, anything that's movable, even wind, um, or things that can shift about. So in the kitchen, any of those loads that can move about, that's all called a live load. Anything that's a dead load is something that's stationary. So this is already fixed into place, that's gonna be a dead load. Uh, tiles, another dead load. Uh, shower frame and glass, dead load. Windows, dead load. They're a fixture that's stationary. Except if you've got big sash windows, that could be considered as a live load, although it's still in the one spot. It'll be engineered for that. To give you an example of a live load, I'm just gonna show you me walking through this area and watch this actually move. Uh, this has got a subfloor frame underneath it, you can see, oh, 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 to the truffle shuffle. <laughs> if I did the truffle shuffle, you can see that the whole thing moves. It's not much, but it's a little bit. So that's considered to be a live load. If I've got a bath in this area, it's empty, that's okay. But as soon as I start adding water to it, it's a live load. So we fill it, we put people into it, there's movement about. So we've got to engineer the structure for those things. Live loads, dead loads. Think it, talk it, work it, and stay awesome. Got any questions about any of that kind of stuff? Flick it over, I'll answer it for you best I can whenever I can. Thanks for watching. Like always, stay on Rupert Hunt, Pills and Old. See you in the soup.